So when I think about the Stonewall riots and what happened that night, that point of resistance, I think about the people who were not let into Stonewall, the people whose bodies were always on the streets, whose bodies never had protection or shelter, right, who were constantly policed and criminalized and put into jail. And those people were often street youth, homeless youth, um, drag queens, trans women of color. And so I think about, I'm not so much concerned around who threw the first brick or who was the first to resist, but I think about who was actually out there. What were the masses that were out there? Who are we exiling within our own spaces and our own communities who are most vulnerable and who were tired, right? Sylvia Rivera talks often about the fact of not wanting to no longer put up with this shit. Right, and some of this shit was like, not just the powers that be, the structures that didn't want her to exist and want her people to exist, but also the internal politics that also didn't find trans folk of color, people of color, queer folk, homeless youth, people with disabilities and mental issues to be a part of the movement, to be a part of these spaces of desire. And so that space isn't about parades, it isn't about rainbow flags, it's about resistance. It's about saying that we deserve to take up space wherever we want as how we want to present ourselves, as who we want to love and how we want to be. And that is what Stonewall riots were. This moment where it was a, literally a spark of rage and a spark of anger and a spark to say that that we're resisting so that we can exist in freedom and in liberation.